Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today is October 12th, 2021, and my hen's been laying eggs for a while now. But unfortunately, I don't have a rooster, so none of her eggs are fertilized. So I went and bought some silky eggs from my local breeder. This hen likes to sit on the food nest, so I'm just gonna add two of these fake ceramic eggs to fill up her nest, and I'm gonna wait until she starts sitting and add in the silky eggs. So here are the silky eggs I bought. A big shout out to Whitney from FeatherBabyFarm.com. This is where I get all my eggs. This is where I get all my chicks in my past videos. She has a variety of breeds that lay beautiful egg colors. She does ship eggs and chicks, so make sure you check it out. Another cool thing is that she recently partnered up with a program where you can hatch your own chicks at home. They will provide the eggs, the incubator, the brooder, everything you need to get started. I'll put a link to her page in the description box down below, so make sure you check it out. So the eggs I got from her are mostly from her front pen, which is what I want. I want a different variety of colors, but the eggs are starting to reach one week old, which means the fertility will start dropping soon. So I want to put these eggs in as soon as possible. I can't wait for my hen anymore. I got an incubator running with a bunch of quail eggs, so I'm just going to add these in and I'm going to wait until my hen sit and then I'll give her these eggs. So after putting the eggs in the incubator, I came out to check her on my hen and she's inside her nest. Which is pretty weird because she already laid an egg already this morning. Uh, this can only mean that she's ready to sit. If she continues to sit throughout the whole night, then I'll know she's committed. Then I'll give her the silky eggs and I'll check on her every day and see how the eggs are doing. And I'll candle them on day 7. And I can't wait to show you guys. So it's 10 o'clock at night and I want to check on my hand. See if she's still in her nest. And she is. I will give her the eggs right now so she can start sitting on them. I will take her other eggs out because they're not fertile. But they are edible so I will eat them. So I'm giving this hen eggs at night, but I haven't given her eggs during the day before. She will accept and take eggs either way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the reason why I'm filming this at night is because my hen is in her nest instead of her usual spot, which is on the roosting bar. That's where she usually sleeps. So with her still being in the nesting box at this time, it just tells me that she's committed and she wants to hatch some chicks. So what I'm going to do now is give her the silky eggs. This hen is aware that I am giving her eggs that are not hers. I've done this before and she usually just take them right in and tuck them underneath her. So there's a total of 14 eggs and I'm just going to give it all to her. And tomorrow morning we'll come back and check.
it's tomorrow morning around 8 o'clock and I just want to see if she's still in her nest. And she is still in here. So this is my nicest hen. Uh, I dealt with very mean hens in the past before. I can stick my hand out like that and she don't even peck me. Um, every day I just like to come and check on her, see if she has taken a break. I do like to lift the head up and check all the eggs and see if there's any crack. I discard any crack eggs and if the next needs to be cleaned out, I clean that out as well. So I actually made a very big mistake from day one to day seven. I left some grow out uh, AM Samani chicks in here with her. Uh, they were her last batch before she started laying this clutch of eggs. And they've been sleeping with her. They've been pooping in her nest, kicking the eggs out. So I know that one of the eggs might not be good, but I'm going to count with them anyways. So I collected all the eggs and I turned on my Nurture Ride 360 to count with the eggs. If you're candling eggs at home, you could definitely see veins and movements inside the eggs on day 7. If you don't see any of that, then the eggs are not fertile. So this is part of the egg that I mentioned earlier that got kicked out. There was another one that was not developing so I taken them both out. Uh, so out of 14 eggs, 12 are developing and that's a very good number. It's 8.30 a.m. on November 1st. Today is day 20 since my hen started sitting and the silky chicks are hatching. So when the eggs start pipping and uh, start hatching, uh, the hen will start talking to them right away, encouraging them to come out. Uh, they start to bond right away. And when this happens, uh, the hen does not leave the nest to eat, drink, or poop. So. I like to take the hen out just for a couple of seconds so she gets to poop. So I notice if I give my hen a break just to come out and poop, she actually sits a little bit longer than usual, which is really good because they give any chicks that are hatching late time to come out and join the family. So after observing and checking out the chicks and taking pictures and videos, uh, only two chicks come out so far. So later at night, I'll come back and check on them, see how the other eggs are doing, see if any more chicks hatch. And I'll be sure to take some pictures and some videos for you guys. So it is November 2nd. And this morning I came to check on the chick and one of the chick was outside the nest. Uh, he was already dead. So right now I'm taking them out. Uh, I'm keeping the mom and the chicks inside of a dog kennel in the garage for right now because it's pretty cold outside. So a couple more days until the chicks are running around and playing, that's when I'll take them out on daily field trips outside. I personally love having my hen take care of the chicks because she'll teach them how to eat, she'll teach them how to drink. She also keeps them warm so I don't have to provide a brooding light or any kind of heat source for them. So I haven't had silky chicks in a while. It's been like 5 plus years since I had silky so I'm very satisfied right now. They come out very healthy and very fluffy. This hen did a wonderful job. She will raise and protect these chicks until they're independent. Usually it takes about a month or two. I am giving them non-medicated chick start and occasionally I'll mix in some chick boots in the water as well. That's it for this video. A big thanks to Wendy again from FeatherBabyFarm.com. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And as always, thanks for watching everyone.